is what silent Again. This is what silent is like. Okay, so today, uh, this is K Steve Zeltzer with KPFA Workweek Radio, and we just heard about the resignation of Barbara Garcia. She's the Director of Public Health, uh, City and County of San Francisco, and I'm with uh, Cheryl Thornton. Cheryl, welcome. Uh, what are the things that you take back now, or you believe now, in, with the resignation, what needs to be done? Um, okay, so today we heard that Barbara Garcia, the uh, Director of Public Health, has resigned effective immediately. Um, I don't know what to make of that. There's been lots of issues in our department of systemic discrimination against workers. Um, there's been um, d discrimination against whistleblowers, um, people that live in the community that are involved with the shipyards and the toxin and the health department is over the Department of Environment. So, but we don't know what to make of this. We're going to have to advocate. Um, about who should be our next leader because we're just concerned that the person that may come in office may be uh, someone who further oppresses the marginalized in San Francisco. And was Barbara Garcia aware of what was going on here at the Department of Public Health, the systemic racism, retaliation, and discrimination? Oh, for sure. I met with Barbara in 2012, myself and a group of us, to talk about the discrimination. She said she was going to look into it. And she, I guess she did look into it, but what happened is the assaults on black workers um, increase from that point forward. Uh, in 2018, we had a rally on March 27th to protest the removal of me, which was illegal. And uh, that day on tape, uh, there was a, there was a, we have a copy, we have a tape where Barbara Garcia is on record saying there's a process to handle personnel issues, but I'm here to tell you I had no due process, there was no process for me. And the uh, retaliation of workers, it seems that it's also going on with Mickey Callahan, with the uh, head of the Human Resource Department, is she involved? Well, uh, yeah, we believe so. We've asked Mickey Callahan several times for data to prove our suspicions, but yet, as of today, we have received only incomplete data, and so we really can't say uh, without a doubt that there's a systemic problem, but from the data we see, there is a systemic problem. And we're not just talking about the health department, we're talking about citywide. And you're going to have a hearing uh, on September the 19th, you're calling on all city workers to come to that hearing. Um, on the 19th to speak out and talk about what's going on? Yes, um, so through our advocacy, uh, we have secured public hearings that are going to happen September 19th uh, at the Board of Supervisors Chambers through the Committee of Oversight and I forget the committee's name, but anyway. So we've secured those hearings. We're here today at the DCCC because we're going to comment some of the city workers. We're going to make a public comment asking the DCCC to support black workers on the systemic employment, the systemic racism that continues to persist in the city departments. And so we're asking for public support on this issue. So the removal or the resignation of, uh, of Director Garcia, Barbara Garcia, doesn't change the situation here? Uh, no, because there's been a long cultural culture and history of this happening in our department. So just because you remove the head doesn't mean that it's resolved. We still have a lot of work to do. There's Thank still you. a lot of racism going on in this department. Oh, okay. Why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, I'm Nicole Cunningham. I'm a social worker in FCS uh, in adoptions. I'm here because I am so tired of our supervisors and managers mistreating us. Even today, I'm dealing with bullying. Today, today's date. What is today? August 22nd. I'm dealing with emails. Like, I have to refrain from using my personalized items yet that are in common areas, yet there's personal refrigerators in common areas. There's stuffed animals. All, And I'm just saying, where's the email for everyone to comply? That's it. But this all stemmed from me complaining about me as a disabled person not having my needs met. I found several complaints. I met with the commissions and what? Nothing. Everyone is in cahoots together. No one is here for these children and families. I've turned in work and taken 18 months to get work back. Six months to get work. How is that appropriate for the families and children for that so that they get the, the, 
Medi-Cal that they need and the funds that they need. It's insane. Everyone is in bed together. No one is here for these kids. The, fight, the fact that we have to come to commission meetings, we have to spend hours out of our, our life, emails and emails and emails just to ask for help, it is insane. And then you wonder why people go, I've been off on disability for many, many months dealing with chronic pain from the stress that I get from this job. My personal job itself, dealing with the clients, is easy. Easy peasy. It is the staff, not, excuse me, not the staff, management. Did you hear me? Management. Okay. Okay, it is them. All right. Hello. You're the director of the Department of Public Health has resigned. Uh, are oh, you... Congratulations. Uh, are, are you... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you think that's going to change anything? I mean, she knows about the systemic racism, the retaliation, and the privatization. They want to privatize. What, what do you think is necessary uh, in San Francisco, the Department of Public Health now? I think it's not just about the Department of Public Health. I would say that um, there are major problems in human resources, and it's not just the regular line workers in human resources, but the, uh, there's a lack of definite leadership when it comes to issues of minority issues. And so I feel like, you know, I know Mickey Callahan, she's a nice enough lady, but I don't think things are going to change as long as she's there. So I think the Department of uh, Human Resources, they know what's going on and they're allowing this? Yes, I think Mickey Callahan has been complicit in covering up a lot of this stuff, right? She could have fixed it. She had the opportunity to fix it. She's been in there a long time. We've been telling her about it for a long time, but she hasn't fixed it. And you're going to have a hearing on the 19th. You're asking, urging workers to go there to tell their stories. Are you calling on all city workers to rally and come out on the 19th? I'm calling for all city workers to show up. And even if you're not one of the individuals who's been discriminated against and been bullied on the job, harassed, we all know of people. You need to come out and support. So we're asking all union members, all workers, people, to come out and support working people because we have a good opportunity now, now that we have a, a London brief for mayor, to make some significant changes to make it better for future generations of workers who are coming in.